Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're starting the chapter on Jupiter. Now that we've finished the inner solar system, we're moving out to the outer solar system. And Jupiter is indeed the first planet of the outer solar system past the asteroid belt. It's a little over five astronomical units away from the Sun, which means a little bit more than five times the distance from the Sun. But what is important or peculiar or maybe astonishing, might be a better word, about the planet is that it's simply gigantic in size. It's an absolutely enormous planet. It's by far the biggest planet in our solar system. It's also made almost entirely out of gas. About 95% of the mass of the, of the planet is made out of either hydrogen or helium. And so everything else is only about 5% of the total planet. How big is the planet? Well, if you were to take the mass of Jupiter and compare it to the rest of the solar system, for example, if you were to put it on a scale, the mass of Jupiter is more than two and a half times the mass of all the other planets, moons, asteroids, and comets put together. That is quite something. And because of Jupiter being that big, it does play an important role gravitationally in our solar system and had a big influence in how the solar system came about, how the solar system developed into its current, its, its current form. And it probably had a lot to do with the fact that we have an asteroid belt, and it has a lot to do with the fact that Mars is probably a lot smaller than it could have been if it wasn't for Jupiter. Now we'll get into the details of that later. Now, another way to look at the size of Jupiter is to think about how many times the Earth would fit inside of it. So imagine that Jupiter was hollow, and here's an interesting diagram of that. How many Earths could we fit into Jupiter? Well, the answer is over 1,000 Earths can fit inside of Jupiter. That is quite large. Now, how many times can Jupiter fit into the Sun? And that's also about a thousand times. So essentially, the Earth could fit inside the Sun about a million times, but Remember, the volume of Jupiter is over a thousand times the volume of the Earth. So that's quite something. Now, the density isn't as high as the density of the Earth because essentially it's made out of gas and gases aren't as heavy or as massive as the materials that the Earth is made of, which is mostly metal and, and rock. So, since it's not as dense, the mass is not a thousand times the mass of the Earth, it's about 320 times, 317.8 to be exact. And so the mass comes out to about 1.9 times uh, 10 to the 27 kilogram, over 300 times the mass of the Earth. So a vast majority of the solar nebula as the, the solar system formed, after the Sun formed, well, was taken up by the planet Jupiter. The diameter is also astonishing. Almost 143,000 kilometers in diameter at the equator, which is almost 90,000 miles. And at the pole, it's a little bit less. Well, actually quite a bit less. Notice the difference is almost 7%. Jupiter is almost 7% wider than it is tall. The reason for that, well, there's actually two reasons. One of them is that Jupiter spins on its axis really fast. Matter of fact, the fastest of any planet in the solar system at under 10 hours for one complete rotation. On top of that, it's made out of gas, so it's not as sturdy, and so it, it tends to bulge out more because of the rapid rotation than if it had been metal or solid rock or something like that, or magma. The planet is so big that if you could drive around it, now of course that's hypothetical because it's a gas planet, there's no solid surface on which you can build roads, there's no place to land on it. If you were to try to land a spacecraft, you would simply sink through the atmosphere and the atmosphere would get thicker and thicker and thicker, but there's really no boundary between the atmosphere and the actual planet itself. It's almost like artificially. We picked a point saying, here's the boundary, but we could have picked it at a different point. So there's no roads to be built on the planet, but if we could, and you would drive at 100 kilometers per hour, which is freeway speed, about 60, 65 miles per hour, it would take you more than a year to drive around the planet. It's just simply, absolutely an enormous planet. It's also a very beautiful planet. If you take a look at the picture here, notice 
the swirling of the atmosphere, because obviously there's a big atmosphere around Jupiter, and we'll talk more about the atmosphere, and the coloration of the atmosphere, and the differential of speed between what we call the belts and the zones, or different color regions across the planet, as they swirl around and move relative to each other, well, they produce incredibly beautiful patterns that are constantly changing, and yeah, it's just an absolute beautiful panel, planet to look at, and it's a very, it's a favorite planet to look at through telescopes. Amateur telescopes of, of reasonable size can take very nice pictures of the planet. You can see the big red spot, you can see some of the other storms and the swirls. It's just absolutely enormous and absolutely beautiful. So, we're going to talk a lot more about Jupiter. After all, it's a very interesting planet. There's some very unique features and very unique things about Jupiter that we're going to learn, but the first thing you can't ignore, it's absolutely the big giant of our solar system. Wow, timing. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> 